Can't hear you. Kind of muted yourself again. You, you, you thought. Oh, wait. Damn it. No? We're good? Yeah, we're good again. Well, uh, yeah, album I'm wonderful here with Sermon, <laughs> yeah. and we have our second map in this best of three. Sprout is leading with one, and now we go into the home turf of Sprout, which will be Dust 2. So, what do you think about it? Well, traditionally, Dust 2 is one of those maps where, uh, like, tactics are, like, not exactly the focus. Everyone kind of knows what to expect from it. There was a little bit of a shakeup in the meta because, you know, the, the whole mid thing kind of happened they updated it but everything basically stayed the same and as long as uh, blink can i don't know muster up some uh, some nice rounds like some very nice individual performances from their players i'm sure they can get it over the line but as you said like sprout is actually uh, quite decent at uh, dust too to pu put it lightly that is correct they have a 91 percent win weight i think if i remember correctly and the thing is in Dust 2, everybody can play Dust 2, but only very few can actually master Dust 2. And with that, um, there's a possibility that um, we are going to see, you know, that Sprout will just walk over them. I Hopefully, we are not going to see that because I want to see, you know, a wonderful match. But um, yeah, uh, I hope that uh, they can gather together some strings after this, you know, short break and um, yeah, fight back. Exactly. They hopefully will be able to do so. Of course, Sprout, they have beaten quite a few teams that are better than Blink uh, in the past three months. Uh, like earlier today, they just beat Savage. To Savage, I don't know how they rank up against Blink, but you know what I'm saying. You know, like kind of a similar tier of team. They've beaten Tricked, Finest, Amiga, Saw, Skade, Mad Lions, Endpoint. Like the list isn't that star studded, but I think we can say that, you know, as far as home turps go, this, this this turp is pretty homely. That's correct. And uh, yeah, um, I think we are already behind the knife round. And I can see, look at that, 1.06 for Sprout, I guess. Uh, not for Blink. Um, it would be kind of interesting. And no, it's the knife round. Or No, it's actually a pistol round. So... Let's see what we're going ah, okay. to get here. Sprout are on the team side. Oh, that was a headshot. That was a huge one. And off to, yeah, uh, good start. But then Marix uh, finds one in return. P250 is always good to buy those up on the T side. You shoot quite much further than a Glock. But that P250 is now on the floor thanks to the likes of Zig. Four versus three as the Germans decide to do a little bit of a long rotate here toward well long you got kaylee behind the car you got galito on the site somewhere near elevator so he's not going to be elevated yet and they're going to receive backup quite slowly right at this point maybe the rotates start and synopsy definitely is making his way there but kaylee he's stuck smelling a lot like chavapi right now has to move out obviously dies and it's a three versus three with sprout still not really fully committing to this one they want to make it so the blink kind of questioned themselves and i guess the patience game pays off synopsy dies but galito <laughs> he's there to avenge his fallen brethren two kills swiftly makes rawls have to clutch this in a one versus two situation do you think it's gonna happen 30 seconds left Oof, uh, to be honest, I don't know. I think we have to see. If Flashbang is there, Smoke is in place, of course. I mean, even if he doesn't do anything, a bomb plan would be awesome for him and his team. He's going to find the first one, but look at the HP. 62 to 6. There is a push over, and will he expect the player to come from there? And no, he will not. The bomb is down, and Blake actually take the pistol round. I mean, we have a very similar start, it seems, to the first map where they also took the first three rounds. Um... But let's but replay here it's going to be a bit harder to take the first three, right? Because Sprout now has the uh, money advantage from planting the bomb. You do get quite a bit of a better buy in the second round. That is, unless you go for an eco on the second, then you have a really good buy in the third. Either way, yeah, that final 1v1, kind of unfortunate. You know, Rouse really didn't know uh, where to look. Too many angles for him to consider, and it was just a matter of time before he gets shut down from a place he didn't expect. Now then... 
Are they going to expect this long push? It seems the Molotov was meant to stop it, but then the follow-up utility is thrown and speedily Sprout get executed here, even donating the superior weapons to their opponents, which is definitely something you don't want to happen. And there you go, Sprout, not only the pistol, but even a good start on the second. Oh, <laughs> rip Marix. That's true. I mean, that's also wonderful because with that, they definitely going to take um, the second because um, Sprout most certainly will have not really a lot of money, except they can somehow a bomb plant or maybe win this one. But uh, we can see Speedy and Stark just both go down. Blink, make it two. They were blind for so long. That was some good supportive flashing going on toward long. And, ha and to have the presence of mind of, you know, first I'm going to throw the Molotov, going to wait a bit, waiting for your flash to come through, and then you know, that utility gets used up nicely. Full eco coming in, as the graphics will suggest. Sprout giving a third over to Blink. Looks like they're just going to be recycling the previous round, but yeah, they kind of turn around as soon as the Molly falls yet again. GX, meanwhile. All the way up mid, finds the first two. Not getting these kills with a uh, SMG to Ooh. farm up money, but you don't need to. <laughs> Marix, of course, he tried to farm up some money with the knife. Didn't work out. Unfortunate. But fortunate for Blink, like five of them survived. This is some nice money stacking they're doing. And yeah, if you want to stack some money yourself, you can use the wonderful you know, code BITCOIN in order to wonderfully put $50 down and... Do you know what? Get 50 for free. So do that and maybe you will be able to... Uh, cutting in and out a little bit. Internet's on the fritz again. <clears throat> Not for me though. We got uh, the first kill coming through. Blink already losing GX here, but Synopsy does at least answer back. Eric's a very forward position, takes care of the first, expects the second, and kills him. Okay, that was, there was a brief moment of time where he wasn't looking. Oh, and he even pushes the Molotov, what a beast, man, Rix. What are you doing, dude? This is a full buy. You can't just go go like that, find two kills on short, and then, like, push a Molotov onto A, kill another one. Spitty kind of gets the final one, but Eric's is the MVP of the previous. That is correct, and with that, Sprout are now actually on the board. Um, but, um, of course, Blink, they have still money to use and to, you know, spend that on AWPs and M4s, but um, after that, they may have to go for, you know, Force Buy or something like that, if they lose that, of course. Let's see where else, let's see what he can do aggressive into that. I don't know if they actually saw him go into the corner. But look at that, two players on long, and... See how this will turn on. Zick, he is flashed, but nobody can take advantage of that because he is going back into the pit. Ooh, oh, look at that. That's a bunch of damage, but damage doesn't mean that people are on the ground because on Blink, they just go down because look at that stair. He's already on the spot, pushed from short, and nobody could contest that. But that, uh, mm. I think Blink most certainly will just give up the round. Well, if this is how it's going to play out, uh, do do we expect Blink to keep contesting long, or do they start conceding it at this point? Just letting their opponents have it and enforcing their defenses elsewhere, perhaps. Because they're not going to forget about that, you know, way they lost long. Hopefully in future it doesn't happen. Maybe if they attempt it a few more times, we see they actually just got unlucky over here. Who knows? Either way, Gulito and GX are just going to be saving until the end of the round with uh, some nice weaponry. GX with the expensive AWP sniper rifle. Definitely wants to survive with it, but he's in trouble from tunnels at least. Doesn't look like they'll be able to do anything with it though. Round goes to Sprout. Merrick's push toward the end? No, not going to go for it. All right. This defense, right, on long, they just kind of felt like they came a little bit late. Not enough support flashes coming over or something. Maybe if they invest four players, it'll work. But, you know, putting four players uh, kind of toward A does leave B a tad vulnerable. We'll see what they decide to go for. At any rate, this kind of a buy. 
should be good enough. That's true. I mean, look at that. Slax with an AWP so far. Yeah, it's been pretty decent here on this map already. And oh, he spotted the player unable to connect though. But of course, they know that at least where one player is. So a bunch of utility will rain down on him. But it's just a worries there going back. And look at that. Marx, he is going towards short. But there are a couple of players on the side. Or is he just going to wait at maybe some more push or something? That could be something they maybe would look forward to. Okay, and to be honest, I really like the skin. It's a wonderful skin with that MP. Oh, God, oh he's man. so there, so deep. The Japanese aesthetic. Oh, yeah. So deep, put your butt to sleep, as Ice Cube said. Uh, God rest his soul. Yeah. But Sprout, I mean, they're kind of stuck on short right now. I think after this smoke dissipates, yeah, the, on the left side, Merrix was kind of sticking out where maybe Synopsy went for a pre-fire. Either way, Slax finds a refrag, and it does become a three versus three, with A still being the worst of the two options, right? The two letters of the alphabet we got working. Um, looks like they will just be throwing some fake utility toward lower tunnels and then just uh, immediately progressing with their attack onto A. Two separate duels, one of them won by Sprout, the other one is about to be won by Sprout, yeah, because Zig's on site with an MP9. That kind of a range doesn't do the SMG any favors for sure. No. I mean, he got, like, I think, like, two bullet headshots, but sadly, it's just an MP. With that, that's sadly not enough. And with that, GX actually has, I think, to fear that his AWP will be taken away. And that would be, like, a very valuable essence for it the next round. I mean, um, the money is not good, and an AWP can change rounds. And there we go, finding Speedy. Of course, you know, Sprout is hunting them because, well, they don't care about money. But, oh, GX looking to get something. But, unfortunately... Not really. I think like maybe Sprout are now deciding to let him go. I don't want to take any more casualty. I mean, they have the money, but of course you don't have to throw money at your opponent if you don't have to, really. Yeah, I generally tend to avoid it. I think Sun Tzu said, don't throw money at your opponent, dummy. <sighs> it's a bad decision. Quote. You know, ancient Chinese... Warfare definitely has some uh, analogous elements to modern day warfare here. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's like always like strange when you read stuff like that. When it's like, yeah, German like <laughs> war in the 1800s. Yeah, they walked in with 500 people and they killed two, so we surrendered. Uh, Chinese, we walked in with 15 million <laughs> and we lost 5 trillion and it was a glorious victory. <laughs> yeah, no, that was. Uh... He does, he does have quite a few uh, things that just don't make sense in the modern world, for sure. But we'll get into that later. For now, we have a bit of a long take, a nice Molotov that actually didn't even land. So it was a bad Molotov from long onto short. Didn't work as mentioned. Spitty all the way up close there. He might actually be able to yeah, throw that molly before he does the assault. Two players right behind him. It's a bit of a difficult duel there for Zig, I assume. Yeah, it's Zig. Finally goes down, takes at least one with him, and leaves his opponent, his teammates uh, with the two versus four situation, and GX is low HP. You know what that means? We don't have DP playing here, but it's still game time. Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe. Let's see if you can do that, or... Okay. Yeah, just save. It's, it's, you know, how Jame does it. You see that you're yeah, down four versus five? Like you said, surrender, or in this case, save. We'll get him next time, he says. Uh, but will there be a next time? I mean, uh, Sprout are actually stacking money at this point. Looks like they're going to be surviving this one with four players as well. Meaning, oh, well, that, that might not actually be true, but if they get a AWP off of GX, that's a double op set up half now. There you go. Kaylee already dies, and not a single one joins the graveyard terrorists here four of them survive so money's good And yeah, let's see the boost, something we see in recent time very much and also sometimes very successful with the fact that we had recently some changes to Dust 2 
which I still don't like. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see. Reality is like so aggressive, um, and of course can work out like very the, well. The but mid -peak. sometimes it also can go wrong. I like, like it. If you need to spend two people to for the mid peak, I like it. <gasps> Because before it was too easy. Now you need to like waste someone's time to do it, but let's not waste any more time here. There's a beat take <gasps> oh, no! going on. Gulito, ooh, he's roasting alive. <laughs> Smells like chivapchichi, man. Maybe some boot. Oh, I don't hungry. know. Do you even do that in an open flame? I think you just sort of uh, cover it with some kind of a bowl. I don't even. Never, never seen Budik made in my life. You don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> so let's focus on the round instead. Yeah, sprout planting and B is hungry. an actual fortress which you cannot uh, you cannot siege with only four players. You know, if there's five enemies alive, better just stay alive, stay safe, fun long. Jame time continues. We're looking at, I'm looking at the wall clock in the kitchen and like every single okay. place instead of a number, it just says game time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, um, I think you, you got a very interesting uh, clock there on the wall. Um, game time so all the let's time. See yeah. Somewhere in the world, oh, it's always James. Huh? Freshness is it in this time where we are playing Splink versus Sprout? That's a big question. And yeah, I mean, 35 again. You know, Blink taking the first three and then Sprout just coming back, bashing them down. Uh, that's like, and so we are at 3 5. Sign, yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, it kind of means that every real round, quote unquote, like was lost by Blink, like every full buy. If you just get the first three, that just sort of means you, well, convert. Skill, but yeah, just like the little guy in the upper right hand corner, hopefully you guys did some stretches, did some jumping jacks. If you uh, play a lot of counters, if you DM, maybe for every 10 deaths, you uh, do some push-ups. Ooh. That's like a good... I don't want to say anything, but I would be good. ripped after a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh... while you're dead in CS, you can't just, like, say all your info, go get on the floor, wait for the, you know, next round to start, and just, just do, some, do some squats. I don't, I don't know. Take care of yourself. I think Body's squats is more, it's like, I think it's doable. Yeah, those, those are those are easy. Like, yeah. You can do like a lot of them. Ooh. And you can cheat it better. Than no real CEDOs. damage. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. You can cheat at Cedo so much. Okay, Sprout. They kind of got uh, blown out of uh, B tunnels there. The grenade landed. Kind of scared them off. Going to be pivoting toward the A bomb site instead. Not that it really matters. Blink has everything covered so far. Merrick's not catching anyone with his dirty tricks there with the molly behind the door and the spam right as a, right where the escape route would be if someone was caught in the fire. Very nice move. You guys can steal that for matchmaking if you want. And what is Ralz doing here? They're not set up for a B-take, so maybe he just wants to make some room and yeah, GX would gladly take the free kill. Easy for him. Looks like it's going to be attack on A, though, as, expect as expected. But, ooh, Gulito's flanking. He's in T-spawn, dude. Yeah, that could be a very decisive factor, but maybe they don't need it, because look at that! It's three kills on the board. Flag's finding one, but I don't think he can change the outcome of this round. Or maybe he can. I mean, this bump is still on short. 30 seconds, but he can make it very expensive here for the blink side. But oh, they're, they're trying to slack from across the map. And look at that. He will succeed. Well, he kept Fourth trying. Round on the board. Yeah. As Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, man. <laughs> that one wasn't Sun Tzu, actually. That's true. It, was, it was just Gretzky. That's true. All right. <laughs> GX good on the entries, at least. He's got more than anyone by a country mile. Of course... Wants to uh, take it a bit more into his hands there. 12 kills already on the man. Dude's a beast. He knows he has to kind of carry the team. They're counting on him. Oh, oh look at that maneuver, dude. Just jumps Ooh. the box, gets the kill at the edge of the smoke, falls back, finds barracks as well. This is a round winning move from GX. Indeed. Let's see if they can actually convert it. It looks very, very promising. 
Oh yeah. The thing is, like, it's also like so risky, you know. If you just miss something, have a bad spawn, or anyway has a very good spawn, you can be dead. You'll be dead a bunch. But he makes it work. And the thing is, he's even getting a second and nearly a third one. And look at that. All of a sudden, it's only one player left. A blink. They are looking good to make this a fifth round on the board. And yeah, maybe we were scared for no reason at all. And Blink can uh, take I us mean, to map three. I mean, this is like the first indicator they gave us that they can actually uh, stick it to Sprout on those two at least. You know, first real round one. Mm -hmm. Very nicely played. I guess we need to start treating GX as kind of a like must have factor uh, a win condition perhaps uh, for them to continue dominating just keep using gx in these really aggressive awp scenarios right you send them on middle once you send them uh, down long uh, another time you tell them to take b tunnels some other time it's kind of like how i don't know not time where they just want them exactly where the enemies are going to be there's no attempt with no cigar from the likes of slacks and we got an even score line still like all of the money from sprout kind of depleted very nicely done from the blink side to destroy that economy that was looking mighty scary Let's see if they can get in enough force them on that all important ego that's true because Sprout, they are using all the resources they have right now. I mean, Stairs pretty well off, but everybody else... Oh, look at that! <laughs> Wheels, how are you not getting that kill? But, of course, Zig, he is going huge. Unfortunately, cannot get away. But, of course, that was a huge information gain for the Blink side. They saw three players there. Plus, of course, the one they killed. Meaning that four players are around. Look at that, Synops. He's so aggressive. And I don't think they will expect it. But, oh, oh, oh he's getting one. But the trade... No, nobody He's on spot. One yeah, is on long. <gasps> oh, that, that was loses as well. He really comes out ahead, but the site is taken. So Marix is going to be planting the bomb. It's planted for short. None of the players are going to be staying there, however. Oh. They want to go aggressive. There you go. That's at least a confirmation that you've got someone on long and an easy kill for Slacks does come through. Golito. Uh, the push through smoke. I mean, it was the only play he could have done, but doesn't manage to find the kill. And unfortunately... That was kind of that. Sprouts take the lead yet again. Never really conceding it other than the first three rounds, right? That's true. And, I mean, of course, that was also very important win for Sprout, you know. Um, with that, they have the money still going for them. And Blink, well, uh, not really. We have two players on... Oh, they're going aggressive middle. Interesting. GX aggressive. I really like his aggressive warp style. It's, it's, I love it. It's, it's wonderful. And I love that it's working out as well. Speed on that side. He is working as well. And look at that. He oh, nearly got a second. Man. 2 yeah, HP. He's on 2 HP now. That makes CTs a lot less valuable as Sprout. Oh, actually, they don't have any HE grenades. So, yeah, he's safe from those. I guess the, he has to fear Molotovs, but that's about it. Lito. Forward position has to get out of dodge nice and fast. Killian Zig very low with GX still being aggressive on the op. He has to, of course. They're kind of falling behind in this particular round. Push forward, gets the kill, and falls back. No, no, no. He stays around. He tries to keep swinging, but Rouse won't even give him a target to shoot. At this point, they at least know. Come on, B's clear. Everyone rotates to the pointy letter of the alphabet and just uh, wait for the attack, because it's most certainly going to happen there. And now Gulito even takes care of the B threat, which was never really there to begin with. Let's see. Sprout can actually get the bomb down, first of all. That's the first challenge. That is correct. The thing is, like, of course, the bomb plan would be not wonderful. We already have one player going towards long, so they have to take it very quickly if they want to actually do something. I mean, two players are also very low, so I think this is definitely doable, but they have to get the bomb down soon. Oh, the jump. Is he gonna make the quickly? Oh, no quickly oh, today. No. Oh, Just no. shot through the Classics. No Kuklis, unfortunately. Bomb will get defused, and uh, the score, once again, tied up. Sprout, still not uh, completely destroyed economically, but we can see Speedy and Stare kind of uh, really struggling a little bit. And Blink, look at those odds. They're pretty uh, high, one might say. 
Indeed. Because it's 420, man. Uh, yeah, also that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, you just didn't pick it up. It's fine. Well, you'll get it next no. time. Sorry, I'm not a pothead. I'm sorry. Shame. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Upper Tonal's taken over by Sprout, but they can't really move toward B, obviously, so it's gonna be a slow procedure onto the mid, as always. Standard utility being thrown all the time, and really not much short aggression from the likes of Blink. That's something that's usually present in spades on us two. You know, they got their own style. GX this time not really going aggressive. He's just the floater between B and middle. And he seems to be really sticking to B at this point. They feel like they have the info, but really A is under heavy pressure. Zig, the only man there to really hold the back while Philly watches long. And GX finally, yeah, goes for the ball as he peaked, but Slacks was ready on the angle. Should have stayed around on long, on, on mid. I'm not sure why he rotated B. But, you know, he's the pro, not me, so he probably knew better. Another kill, four versus four, and the push is on with the A site. Strazik still there with the AK and Synopsy is <laughs> shooting people at shot. Oh, look at that. There we go. One is there from Zeke. Let's see if they can actually take this one. And then, yeah, Sprout there a little bit, you know, it was to the back. They're going to lose this one. And Blink looking so strong right now. They're looking good. So uh, we haven't Correct. said that yet. In this entire best of three. The first one, yeah. a complete and unmitigated disaster. They picked it thinking that Sprout would be bad on it, but I suppose playing Ancient with a stand-in is uh, a little bit of a tall order. However, Dust 2, everyone knows how to play that. Just play Puggy style. Give GX plenty of opportunities to go aggressive and find those nice kicks. I'm not going to be finding them yet, however, as the T's are doing this same setup every single time. Top, middle, and lower tunnels. This time, GX punishes them with the early kill, even Synopsy kind of joining the fray. But, you know, the, the pistols from Sprout were never going to do much, so it's nice to see them get kind of taken care of nice and early. Merrick's showing off the German space program over there, jumping real high. And kind of board. Board. Yeah, that's clean, dude. Indeed. One more in the half. Of course, now money. Yeah, for, last one. Uh, everyone. Slacks is on, you know, a scout, but he is the one that looks down the middle. Hopefully, he can at least tag some Ooh. folks and uh, yeah Kalito definitely on the receiving end of that door spam Ralph's on the receiving end of a Molotov however he doesn't get damaged at all okay strange uh, I thought just well just what I mean. it really looked like he was gonna take a lot more there like at least 20 or something uh, what do I know CSGO yeah. Molly's uh unpredictable at the best of times but yeah getting back into it Sprout this time not splitting between middle and lower tunnels it is just gonna be some nice long presence. Blink not really committing anyone toward that part of the map. And it seems like if you got some people middle and short of your CT, you do go for the peak down middle, see what's going down. But you just saw a smoke uh, pop, so you're going to be avoiding that area for the time being. That means no info, and they're not going to know that there's a long push coming in hot from the likes of Sprout. Already running out. Going to be heard, of course. Those flashbangs can be heard on short. And as they clear short, they realize, all right, it's going to take. Let's go and stop them. Sprout, though, unperturbed. Four players ready while another one lurks in B tunnels. That is true. And yeah, of course, a 9 6 half would be wonderful for Blink. I mean, that's way better than, you know, everybody I would have expected. And let's see, Marks, let's see if he can make something happen, you know, with his AK in hand. Anyway, Slax is actually finding a head there. With the scout. Interesting. All right. Smart. Now the short defense. GX, EWP. He's been Ooh. good with it. Tags black. 
other matters against a sniper and yeah it takes down Merix but then dies straight afterwards so very element kind of letting them down but then Kaylee steps up with two swift headshots a third even just Steyer left he's on short finds the kill but it is a 1v1 oh no Golito made footsteps so many of them Steyer I mean his position is known as well but he can crouch he can also poke his head out and give Golito the win that's also something you can do Sprout dude they're they're disappointing me a little bit right now. Blinker just hammering them. Nine six half. Who saw that that happen? And who saw that? Happen? I definitely did not. And uh, yeah. And if you may be disappointed with your bet as well, you can wonderfully grab some free bets. You know, on the wonderful right of yours. You know, of myself and on the left side of the screen, we have a wonderful a little you know widget. If you click and you know charge it up at some point it will reveal a wonderful code that you can redeem for free bats so just go to deposit um under gift cards you can you know use that code and get yourself some free money so use that and maybe get back into the game because we will of do course. that as well with the second pistol round soon and uh yeah what do you think about the second pistol round and the second half in general I mean, 9-6 lead for Blink, that is uh, absolutely fantastic. Hopefully they can, you know, get it over to Inferno, where I am still skeptical of their chances. Sprout's quite good on that map as well. Uh, but obviously, Dust 2 um, was a bit of a mispick from their end. Uh, like, you can see what happens uh, when you pick a puggy map against... I mean, I guess they didn't know there was going to be a stand-in. Or did they? Well... If they knew there was a stand-in, it was the wrong choice to go with Dust 2. Put it that way. You kind of need to pick the opponent's weaknesses rather than, uh, you know, your comfort picks when it uh, comes to those kinds of factors. And yeah, uh, kind of uh, surprised that GX just pulled that kind of a performance uh, and, you know, carried his team to some victories. But of course, the pistol is about to begin with Sprout having the chance to either equalize the game but if they don't equalize, Blink have just uh, made themselves a nice little impenetrable lead. Because as the terrorists, like, they have two chances, essentially. They either win the pistol or, like, the second round after a bomb plant is completely viable as well. So the expected value definitely in the Blink camp here for this pistol. But let's see how it actually shakes out. B, B tunnel presence and one at mid. He's going to be the distraction while the others are going to be the guns of the operation. But plenty of defenders on B as well. Yeah, and no slacks opening up wonderful, but he's burning. Motov not reaching to the end, and he's going to get traded. But at the same time, Rx finding one. Synopsy, he will fall as well. All of a sudden, this master plan that Blink had not really working as intended because the heads just keep rolling and it's not really the CTs, but just they are finally getting gunned down. But look at the HP, 15 and 36. That's not the stuff you want, but sometimes you don't need HP. Look at that, he's just clicking them away. All of a sudden, we are in the 2v2. So it's a long way to that bomb. They're losing so much HP, but they're not actually dying. And then GX finds another one. This this is a very low animation that Ooh. still goes in there. Blink on 10. Wow. Sprout remain on 6. And yeah, well, we certainly didn't see that coming. It looked like a one of those slogs toward the like B tunnels where everyone just kind of uh, gives up halfway through a rush. But, you know, they play it slowly and they actually get it done in time with the odds. From Thunderpick, looking a hell of a lot more generous to uh, the Blink boys here. I mean, the odds are basically even. That's true. And there we go. Attack on the long. The flashes are good on both sides. Nobody can see a thing on Synopsy. He doesn't care. He's going to find Speedy even without anything. Without this, you know, without... Yeah, something. I forgot! <laughs> Anyway, attack now onto the um, A side. I mean, there we go. One frag is there. Scout Finn finding is a wonderful target, but of course, the Galil's are now very close range where they can wreak havoc onto the CT side. Look at that. Real's going down. One inside, two more kills. Look at that. It's a 2v2. 
perfectly doable for both sides. Of course, it is going to get planted on B before Sprout can even do anything about it. I say that, but Merix might actually have the angle to see uh, GX crossing. He does have a smoke in his hands, though, so yeah, he can completely deny the cross uh, kill, although the info is still there. Merix is like, all right, there B. How do we go for this retake through tunnels? Nah, we're just meant to be this mama jama and get it over with. Got Kaylee and GX on site. Fantastic performers in this game so far. Well, in this map at least, GX playing out of his mind. So let's see if he can continue that form. Should be in their favor, of course, a 2v2 with the bomb planted. Unless Kaylee gets really speedily kind of checked. But does not. Opposite happens. Slax just shows him his back. Merix dies swiftly afterwards in the 1v1. That is, yeah. Convincing Rin for round for Blink. It was getting kind of, like, scrappy at sort of that point in the round. But, you know, in the end, it all comes out in their favor. That's true. With that Blink, they have dealt with decent lead. I mean, look at that. 11 to 6 and Sprout, well, they don't have really anything. A couple of pistols, maybe. But no weaponry, no nothing with that. If Blink is going to win this one, it will be a six-round lead. Something we definitely wouldn't have guessed before this map started. All right, smoke to cross. Mac 10 up close. Here's the deagle. That's a fight we'll take any day of the week, GX. I love that they give him a Mac 10 just so that he can, like go forward and it uh, actually makes sense farm up some money he's gonna need it and certainly he does does die of course but any any behind goes down and blink and i never thought i would be saying this during this best of three but they're leading by factor of two here mint this is uh unprecedented two pistols one and unlike you know some other in instances of a team winning both pistols uh they're actually winning reference to the game earlier today for those that weren't around all right how do they uh actually respond to this here sprout let's see oh what was there but of course it was Extinguished, but of course with that they know that one player is there but it doesn't matter because they're pushing in that marks is going to find the first one there Let's see if he can find a little bit more to, you know, maybe get a little bit the foot back into this game. Because right now, it seems that it's slipping away from them and, you know, slipping into Inferno. There we go, Flashbang is there, but oh, flashing his teammate as well. But Speedy from behind, pushing and getting a wonderful free kill. But there we go, two players shooting at him. At the same time, you know, can we find him as well on that? It's a 3v3, and oh, I don't know if Stero heard that. Not sure, though. I'm so surprised that Spitty didn't give up after the first kill. Would have been a nice lead to have. Was instead, Ooh. it's a 3 versus 3. Kind of, that's what happens when you're tied for a uh, like player count with terrorists. They just kind of go out together, trade each other. Even if they die, they do not care. As long as they keep the 2 versus 2. But of course, they do not. Golito with the speedy AWP push. Uh, just doesn't get anything done. Leaves Kaylee in a 1v2 spot. Ooh, that one is uh, basically around, isn't it? He's really praying for a free kill to happen. Actually, he's going to be going through. The ball wasn't even tapped. Or it wasn't, like, stuck, at least. Uh, may maybe it was tapped. Either way, Rouse finds the final kill. That was uh, quite a bit scary for Sprout. But at least they finally get a round over the board. They need to win quite a few in a row here. But like, I don't know, two in a row to uh, destroy the economy of uh, Blink, I think it's fair. Assuming there's like, no, actually way less. Oh yeah, no, they're actually out of money. <laughs> if they plant, they might still have something, but yeah, Sprout, one more round would kind of mean that uh, they'll have a nice time going forward. At least an, an, a, a chance to catch up. Yeah, with that, it would maybe be 12 to 9, which would, you know, you know, get them pretty much back into the game. But of course, the first step is to actually win. I mean, they don't have perfect. You can see they have three um, Farmers in there, actually. So not the firepower you want. So maybe Blink, they can reset on the other side Sprout, because they also, you know, they're kind of mm -hmm. broke. 
Yeah, it's a very this round here. Whoever wins this gets a two for one sale. Buy one, get one free. Let's see who's going to be buying the one, though. Slacks on the corner. Very fast flick onto Zig, takes care of him, and the fadeaway Molly as well to cover his behind. Meanwhile, Blinker not really too worried about this uh, state of affairs. Still looking like they're going to be at least faking toward A. They have a player in the B tunnels. I assume that means they're going to be rotating back. As indeed it does happen, the A take uh, fake of its uh, self. What are they actually going to be pushing B? I mean, there's two defenders there, and Synopsy just kind of pushed without them. This is a very confusing counter-strike here, Mint. I I'm not entirely certain what they were going for. GX, oh, he's going for He's going for kills, and he finds it. Why is Speedy pushing there? It's like no real reason for it. It's like he's pushing also drive without anything, of a flashbang, anything. It was like, yeah. A mistake and got punished. Look at that slacks. Seeing players and oh missing that shot. That could have been an easy kill there, but he is not missing the second one. Give it two before. Make that one. And Gulito, look at that. He's maybe fighting a frag, but he's on the ground as well. It will be eight for Sprout. Who are, you know, getting back into this game a bit. Never too late for a comeback. And it's never too late to uh join the giveaway we're doing here. 5,000 bucks, as you could see. I suppose that's the value of the stuff we're giving away. Exclamation mark, give in chat. That's G-I-V-E. Or Jeev, if you want to pronounce it that way. For those of you that pronounce GIF like Jeff, I guess you'll pronounce it Jeev as well. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's completely a joke. Uh, I actually don't care how you pronounce it. Both are valid, obviously. But what is also valid is about early uh, kills. CT rounds, what is going on? They actually yeah, just destroyed Blink. Blink of an eye. Wow. That was a good... <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, it was a wonderful flick around with the wonderful AK, and with that we have only a scout. I mean, he is hitting the shots. Legs down to 34. On the other side, he's taking some damage as well. I mean, they know where he is, so he's you know thinking about a flank, and he was right indeed. It will Sprout taking another one. It will be 9 on the board for them. Closing the gap to only three rounds. Come on, Blink. You you fought so hard. You got so far. You spent all your money. Not really that many uh, grenades to work with here. But surely they can uh, climb back onto this uh, horse, man. I mean, because if they lose this, they're pretty much tied up at 12 11. And then the next one it might be an eco, depending on how things roll out. Uh, Zig just kind of solo pushing out of long, and two players take care of him quite easily. Uh, it's going to have to be, I don't know, a push toward B, but they still have Marix on an unexpected angle here. However, Kaylee was aware that that was a possibility. Very nice kill from him. Slacks, meanwhile, does some damage in the middle. It is a 4v4. Slack's not really offering himself to be uh, sacrificed there. As Blink set up for, what? Oh, a mid-push. That's quite far forward. He shot from the back, but he doesn't. He kills Slack's, and now Rawls is in a whole heap of trouble. It's a one versus four, I believe. He finds the first one. Now he's going to have to be quartered for a little while longer. He does get the double spray down, though. Insanity coming out of Rills there. Uh, it's just GX left, and, you know, if you want anyone in a 1 versus 2, it's going to be GX. That's true, he's a monster, but sometimes a monster can be slain, and so Sprout making a double digits as well. Blink now on 12, Sprout at 10, and look at that, entry kill, 6 for GX. Look at that, he's really a monster, 2.25 KD. Wow, unbelievable. Also His back must be hurting so hard right now. Yeah, he's carrying, carrying and so hard i mean obviously the other blink players are trying to but they're not a full team right now so it's kind of hard you need at least one player to step up have like nearly 30 kills uh within the first 22 rounds that is actually insane he's on 27. okay blink fast push toward b let's see what you got one defender same role he's on the back of the site Merrick's also helping out from the doors and uh yeah they just shut that attack down instantly it was something you really can't make work a lot of the time right as long as you don't stop as long as you keep rushing b and don't stop then you have a bit of a chance of winning but it all kind of fades away kaylee 
dies last. The 11th round picked up by Sprout. And now another chance, Mint. Another chance to make it even because Sprout are an 11. And the things blink well, the money's not looking good. And oh, he's so aggressive to see this, and it's working out perfectly. Synopsy has no clue at all. Damn, now that's rough. Let's see, speedy with the Molotov. Mm, okay, okay Kaylee, head of the Molotov. Done... Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's done exciting things from this position before. Or Slacks does find him on the cross, however, whether the smoke's covering him or not, he saw him for long enough. Bit of a failed smoke there, but oh no, actually, that's still covered if we didn't want to rotate back towards Schwartz. We're gonna have to, because the uh, fire's going off all over the place. And it's kind of easy to forget, Sprout, they still had everyone left alive. Uh, obviously, Steyer did die there, but not an advantageous At least it wasn't until Gear other two holy hell somebody stop this man he cannot be stopped takes the ak and finally takes one in the head but it's gulito on the sites to defend the bomb and if they're way too focused with short and forget about gandalf this could still be a win for gulito if he gets it, oh, the spray down time too long however Ross doesn't have the defuse kit or i guess the time was bad regardless because he does have a kit uh either way i mean the round gets one blink whoo they they were they were down three against five and once again GX steps up. It's just a storyline we're gonna have to keep uh, keep repeating here because he's like a a really consistent pillar of uh, performance for the blink side. That's true. He is really insane and uh, yeah, he is the one that is carrying blink right now in the hopes of maybe getting towards Inferno and let's see Zig he's going aggressive. And oh, the flashbang is so good there. You know, that man, bad look at that. It's a Mac 10. I don't know why they actually have a Mac 10 out. Um, because it was pretty clear that, you know, they would fight against rifles. So, you know, Mac 10? Eh, not sure. Not sure about that. Yeah, he doesn't have enough money. So, probably wanted to prioritize utility instead. You know, they needed a, a Molotov. Maybe he had a smoke earlier. Sometimes you do want to bust the, ma the Mackie out. Although Dust 2 is a bit of a terrible place for it because of all the long angles, right? It's kind of a world that was made for giants, it seems. Oh no, missed smoke. <laughs> They're not going to be using it now with the V-Take. I'll still able to hold them back. Nope. Finds two and backup has arrived even well, in the back. Lax finds the first. Should be a dead AWP soon enough. Okay, Lee, though, can he get the knife? Of course he can. Picks up a nice cash injection for himself will inevitably lose the round here the 12th going the sprout however blink at least doing something uh good there toward the end look at that from behind awp and yeah just with the knife getting that kill and yeah why not i mean it's a bunch of money with that it's now you know pretty close i mean blink they can definitely take this map but sprout they can also you know, end it and make it a 2-0 victory for them. Oh. It's not going to be on this round, though. Like, let's see if Blink can rebound from this, because Deagles are still fairly good uh, on this map for the same reason that MAC-10s are bad. Long angles. The Scout, of course, could have done something, too, but does get shut down toward the long area. Or no, it was in Suicide, actually. Okay, well, that's where the bomb is as well. Thankfully, they can pick it up as well as the scout. That smoke isn't covering them, but it's on Xbox, so they can do the short push. That's where Zig gets the kill. And it's four versus three. It's Sprout knowing approximately where the terrorists are hanging out at the moment. But it's all about this long duel, and it gets won by Kaylee. This is where things might get scary, but Slacks kind of just brings back the lead. Three versus two now. However, the numbers have been thin so much that Blink might actually be able to execute this attack push from short means you die to slacks but a push from long means that you get a nice entry perhaps from gulito he's got a ak and everything blind opponents on the other side no -uh. the flash just kind of gives away his position and eyes in the middle of nowhere well zig 
dies elsewhere. Yeah. We have now a wonderful pause with our wonderful exercise uh, mannequin. Yeah, they're taking... Today we have a couple of exercise mannequins, you know. Meaning at some point we'll probably have to change that animation to a ripped one, you know. So many timeouts today. And I like it. I mean, to be honest, uh, a bunch of teams just don't take uh, timeouts, which I really don't like because sometimes you just have to slow it down, talk about what is going wrong with your coach or if you don't have one with your teammates, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it can really help. I know, man. Recently, I saw in Tropic, I think it was in like the first five rounds of the map, take like three timeouts. Uh, wow. <laughs> I, I forget the exact numbers there, but uh, yeah, they, they, just, they just busted those out super early because they felt that something was going wrong. And hey, if that's kind of the vibe that's going on, I'd rather you waste your timeouts than... Uh, you know, lose five rounds and then waste the time out. It's kind of a good idea to use them when you feel the need to do so. But is this going to be anything approximating a B rush? No, it's just GX looking for kills across the fire. But of course, that fire does get smoked eventually. And now he has no idea what's going on behind there. As Blink will have to kind of spread out across the map a little bit more take some mid control take some short control and decide what to do from their point onward while maybe gx can watch for the long push but you kind of want him to be a bit more active instead of being in t-spawn right now and see where he decides to go that's true and let's see i mean of course also a very important round again um for blink because they can you know if they lose they have to get not really a lot of money of course the last bonus will be decent but uh, not perfect on your side sprout well they are kind of broke except slacks who's very rich with five thousands so let's see what they can do with that of course he's holding that short position and the nate oh, doing a decent one but flashbang is so good man yeah you can do a very nice pop flash there Useful for uh, MM games as well. If you guys want to play with your friends, Kaylee does take a lot of nade damage and some more fall damage afterwards, but it's going to be the M4 bullets that finish him off in the end. Spitty, however, his position gets found out, gets killed, Zig gets a trade, and uh, Rawls yet again alone on the B defense. This time, three players coming in and closing on his position. He knows where one of them is, but not the guy behind him. Who's the one who kills him in the end? And that's how Blink at the 14th round. Uh, the economy is in the shitter for Sprouts. They're going to get match point here, Mint. This is this is real stuff. Uh, Blink are doing it. Maybe. I mean, Slacks can definitely drop Ron uh, if he wants to. But of course, um, it will be a very messy buy. And there we go. We have to time out calls. They have to decide, will they force buy into this one? And it seems like I'm glad the match, the odds were still in favor of Sprout. Um... But I think that was just like the match total of the map once. So, yeah, let's see. There we go. There is the buy. AWP for Slack. So he's not going to drop an M4 or something. And uh, everybody else, well, they most certainly will not have enough for M4s. So probably just pistols to go with it. And yeah. This could maybe if and the thing is if Sprout is actually forcing and they lose it, it will be blink on map and you know maybe on Inferno. But on the other hand, if Sprout give this one away, <laughs> we are pretty much seeing that sixteenth. Uh, two D's and an MP9. That's not what you want to see. <clears throat> no, I don't like Slacks it. At on all. the ball <laughs> in the middle. Okay, doesn't uh, spot out the boost sort of peak down suicide in middle. Let's find the first, doing his best GX impression, uh, as well as uh, Spitty getting a nice and early kill onto Synopsy. Everything's looking up Millhouse for Sprout. This is five versus three. How did Blink come back? It doesn't seem possible, but they're going to try their damnedest, obviously. Yeah, they still have GX. Such and an uh, Yeah. They have Jax who can but yeah, you're right. destroy everybody. Yes, anything can happen. <laughs> That's true. <right. laughs> Where did they decide to go, though? Because they're about to get pushed from short. That's kind of a threat that's always moving. Oh, okay. The Molotov kind of takes care of that. Meanwhile, they can 
sort of make their ways forward on middle, perhaps. Yeah, that seems to be the plan. Going quite quite safely. One watching left, one watching right. GX, the man of the hour, the one we expect to step up, gets the kill. And they're going toward B, but this time, Balls isn't alone. There's uh, two players actually present here. Both in tunnels, making Blink think it's an empty bomb site. Oh, geez. Is GX going to get baited into this push? I mean, there's three players on the other side. The AWP is so overcommitted at this point, but he still finds the kill, and he makes it out of dodge. Okay. He's made it back. He's still alive. Sprout, as good as this round looked, they're like, we have three rifles, boys. Let's just uh, save them and get this to overtime. And it looks like that's where we're heading, boys. Either a blink win or overtime. It's pretty much confirmed now as Sprout go for a save. Yeah, that's true. Of course, it definitely. I mean, there's like a, some time where you actually can, you know, go in, win it. On the other side, if you lose it, it's most certainly Inferno because they will have not really anything, you know. And even with the stuff they have, it will be pretty hard to actually get a decent buy together that's not based on MPs, you know. Or Deagles. For sure. MP, of course, standing for machine pistol. Yeah. Or not. I just made that up. <laughs> Let's see. Decent utility across the board there for Sprout. So they have something going for them. No helmets, of course, but none required against Kalashnikovs and AWPs. Blink, dude, they love this B site. They they found like a hole in Sprout defense, and credit to them, it seems to be working. Let's see if this one works as well. Smokes, flashes, all falling out. The frogs from the cubby does fine too. Trying to stall as long as possible for Slacks to come in and get a piece of the action. He got a kill as well, remember. So it's only Grilito and GX alive. But we did say as long as GX is alive, we're not downing any rounds. And hey, if he gets the bomb plant, that's still four players that need to make it alive into here. But so far, the plant has been denied. Too many Molotovs all over the place. It's way too hot, way too uh, wintry for barbecue. And it looks like they'll just be waiting for some peaks to come in, but... When do you actually go and plant the bomb then? Because as soon as you beep, there's like four players coming around the corner at a moment's notice. Three, pardon me. They're going to come a bit, a bit late. Really to flash. It's the second and the third. There you go. Blink, get the 16th. It seemed impossible. But it wasn't GX that stepped That's up great. in that final round, Mint. It was uh, Galito, of course. Jesus. How, how yeah. did they make that one work? So surprising. Very nice stuff. That's true. Unbelievable. And yeah, we are here, meaning we are actually going into Inferno. Something, uh, yeah, I did not expect, but here we are. And yeah, what yeah. do you think about Inferno? I mean, we'll see which way it goes. Obviously, it's a tactical map, so probably still favoring Sprout, of course. But at least we now see that Blink has the firepower to make it happen. And if GX gets unleashed, who knows what happens. Join us, ladies and gentlemen, after a short about 10-minute break. We'll be right back with map number three in this best of three. See you soon.